good morning guys let me show you what you don't want that you can clearly see the sprocket and the torque converter are misaligned which uh, is causing the chain to get thrown so much it's happening a tiny bit up here and more so here so basically what i'm going to do is make a glorified heavier duty version of these struts we made here so i'm going to start by fixing the wheel here getting all the camber out of it basically just going to take the wheel off and grab a big old uh, bar for leverage and put it over our spindle and bend it back oh wow can't even get the wheel off She's all bent out of shape. We're getting close. There we go. Unfortunately, this brace we have here isn't gonna be enough because it really just bent, uh, bent this bolt right with our spindle. Oh, my alarm to go meet Ike for lunch went off. With two vehicles, one Jeep stuck in the creek, <laughs> and a red pickup truck stuck in front of that. Would that have been your brother? Yeah, it was my brother and his friend. I'm, I'm almost upset that I missed it, though. Man, we need to talk. Okay. I mean, we can pretend like we're not going to take it off-road again, but... We oh, are, you know we know, yeah. We, yeah. we are so white Ooh. trash and in trouble. Can I have oh, some? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Help That's yourself, good. buddy. I love these. They are so good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and replicate this piece here, which uh, not only is the nut that holds the wheel on, but it also will hold our uh, strut on. Pet peeve of mine is dull drill bits. I cannot stand a dull drill bit. Here's the new one that's pretty much identical except I had to use a larger washer because I couldn't find the same size. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Good. So, you pretty much called it. Hmm? I said you pretty much called it. I didn't really get anything done. I straightened out this one and this one. Well, that's all that needed to be straightened out. Nah, that one also needs to be straightened this out. This one? Uh, yeah, dude. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it didn't come off the chain, but it looks yeah. like it could at any moment. Yeah. Stance life. <laughs> it's stance life. So my original idea, you know, that I came and talked to you about was like uh, a Y. Yes. And then I realized that, ah, oh, torque converter's in the way. Yeah. Um, so I was like, so I'll just do like a triangle, but I don't think it's really necessary. A triangle like, like that, and then just go bam, but I don't think that's don't really gonna be necessary. Just one bar. Just the one bar, it just makes me nervous just having one mounting spot because it bent that. It, it bent that, but it should be, it bent that because we had it that much bolt hanging yeah, on Yeah, we had a ton of, yeah. And it was stressing out. When we bolt it tight, it should be good to go. Very true. I'm, I'm seeing an issue with it now that this chain's here. It's not just a, the chain is in the way. Smack dab in the way. If we were to buy a bolt, that would pass all the way through from here out to here. Then it would have a good place to right. sit on. Got an entire bag of big washers so we can 
stop using all these little sprockets and knickknacks that we have. Don't show it off. I already did. If you're buying a Go Power Sports torque converter like the one we have here, the extra sprocket makes a nice spacer when you don't have washers. These are not three quarter. Are you freaking serious? These are extra sloppy. It'll be fine, dude. We can't use those though. These uh, washers? Yeah. Why not? Because, see this uh, right here? That center? Yeah, it's just meh. Yeah, it's not even touching. Well, it'd be bad for them. You know, it's a good thing we use Go Power Sports for all of our go kart parts needs because we still can use this. Sounds good, buddy. Bam. Look at that. Like it was meant to be. Actually, you could probably use that one and then stack the washers. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. My plan is to drill a hole right through there and through to the other side. Hey, man, I got an idea. What's that? We only have to drill one hole. Okay. We lop the head off. Yep. And then we pass the bolt through the hole, and where it hits that there, we weld it. All right, we can do it. So I'm gonna drill a pilot hole right here. Man, did we get nuts with these bolts? We didn't. Do we need nuts? Yes. We're not having a good day. It'll be fine. I've got this uh, bolt, I cut the head off, and I'm hoping. Yes. Yes. Now I'm gonna weld this bad boy up. That ought to do her. Put this back on. and mark where I'm gonna drill the hole. So we're done for the night. We didn't get a whole lot accomplished. Um, we were pretty much just held back by the fact that we don't have a drill bit big enough and this steel is uh, a little on the hard side. So anyway, I'm gonna run by Ike's work tomorrow and uh, grab the right drill bit, drill that out, do the same for the front. Um, and then this side is gonna be much more simple because we don't have chains to worry about. Basically, I'm gonna weld a piece of uh, angle iron here with two bolts going through them, putting tension on the uh, engine here, which is gonna keep the engine back. Yeah, I'll go ahead and show. I'm gonna have the bar, gonna have a hole drilled right there, a hole drilled right there, and we're gonna weld a nut on the back side so when we thread in the bolt to push on this engine, uh, the nut is captured and bada boom, bada bing. No! Hello. Hey! How's it going? Hanging in there, buddy. I brought some stuff. Brought some steel. To cut and to drill. Because I was lonely. I know, but. I got some more stuff too. It's just bolts and hardware. Oh, oh man. Just a lot of bolts and stuff that we needed. Oh man. Where'd you steal it from? I didn't steal it, I bought it. What do you mean? What's the, what's the problem? At those prices, uh -huh. at those you prices, you did see it, steal them. Pretty, Just pretty don't use deal. them for spindles. Well, yeah. <laughs> Grade five. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the stronger one. for the big boys. All right, let me show you what I got done, bud. Okay, I'm sure it's good. You're gonna be so impressed. Uh, I'm You're gonna sure be speechless. Yeah, I straightened out that spindle. I just uh, haven't put the... straight do you think you got it? I mean, it still looks bent to me. I mean, you know. You're just eyeballing it. Of course. But here's what I came up with for our engine tensioner. I've got the one sitting where I think it needs to go. Yeah. Oh, that'll be fine. Yeah. 
So we finally got the first final strut installed, and there it is. Uh, here's what I'm gonna be working on next, which is uh, gonna keep tension on the engine so the engine doesn't move and loosen the chain. Need to figure out where exactly I'm gonna weld it, and then I'm just probably gonna tack it in a couple places and tighten down on these uh, carriage bolts. I went to like three different stores today, and the best I could come up with was carriage bolts, so don't judge. So this is just gonna make all the difference in the world or it should. If I go ahead and weld this up here, tack weld it. Yep. I can go identical turns and it should keep it. That's what I was kind of thinking. I am welding up this stud that I put in here, which will hopefully keep help keep things tight. What do you say? It's this one. Hoo doggy, that's what I say. All right. All right. Uh, now all we gotta do is weld those plates on for tightening the engines. Yep. And then we can go for a ride? That's right. All right. All right, dude, this chain's on. I just need to uh, tension the engine. So either this is gonna be kind of a short video or half of it is gonna be us tightening engines. Cause that's kind of an accurate representation of what's happening. What are you doing, man? Scratching my ear. I couldn't get in there, man, with my finger. With a bolt. It feels so good, you ought to try it sometime. Uh. Oh, and it's lubricated now too. Yeah, I'm calling that good. Engine one. Engine one. Engine three. Engine four. Full throttle, that one's just starting to go. Okay. And somebody forgot to put a belt well, on Well, that. that's a quick fix. I thought this thing was feeling mighty weak. <laughs> uh, belt's on. Okay, I think we're good. Good. I can't believe it, it popped the front wheel up. I don't know if it popped both up, but it popped one of the front wheels up. That's nuts. Considering it literally has like 35 pounds just in engine, not including torque converter, gussets, engine plates, anything. It does wheelies. Cool. <laughs> it's an inch, but that's a wheelie. Yeah, which means that's one less motor pulling. Oh, true. All right, so we gotta like, we gotta put a- Wheelie bar? Oh man, yeah, we can do a <laughs> wheelie bar. We'll put traction bars on every corner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing. I, it, it feels stronger, I don't know why, but for some reason Probably it Probably just forgot how it fast be. it was. I mean, did you hear me the first time? I started yeah. laughing. Yeah, at the, yeah. Sound like a madman. It, it was nuts. When I was going down the circle, occasionally I heard a tink. Probably chain moving at just the right spot yeah. and hitting that extra large link. Yeah, we gotta hit up Go Power Sports. We gotta get the correct links. It'll be fine. Exactly, obviously. Obviously. All right, I'm getting torn up by mosquitoes. Well, you're going too fast. On fumes. 
anyway, we're gonna do some more riding in the morning, but uh, getting torn up by mosquitoes. So, and it's late and we're out of light. I wanna get like the slow-mo on this puppy and just see, just, just enjoy the little wheelie we get. Okay, sounds good. Yes.